and welcome back to my channel. This is Jeannie. We're here tonight to make another summer soap. Um, this one I will be using the Jade Fragrance by Brambleberry. This is a soap that I make um, every year. I've made it for the last three years and it's just a beautiful um, blend of fruits and florals, mostly florals. Um, I'm going to use this Alpine Green by Nurture Soap. I may add a little bit of spirulina powder to this color to get it a little bit deeper. I typically do that. Um, and for my lighter green, I'm going to use this Laurel Green, also by Nurture Soap. Um, and then in this soap, I always use uh, activated charcoal. I had to order from Amazon this time. Um, just price wise, it worked out best. So let's, uh, get started. I'm going to put some gloves on and we will make some soap. Oh, oh, oh. 
Hello again and welcome back to the soap room. Tonight we are going to cut up the jade bar and I'm a little nervous just because I really um, just winged the whole design of this. I mean I had an idea in my mind what I wanted because I always kind of stick to the same same thing for this bar but I did a little something that I haven't done before with the hanger swirl. So we'll see what we get. I kind of, the first layer, I went back and forth this way with the hanger swirl. And then the top layer, I kind of went like in, where's my finger? <laughs> I went like in a circle, circular, but I think I went this way, not the other way. So we'll see. Um, I always love the color of uh, colors of this bar, um, and of course, I already said how I love the fragrance. It's it's extra special. I have a lot of people who like this um, Jade by Brambleberry. So, um, anyhow, getting there. I like what I'm seeing with the activated charcoal. The way it swirled. It's really really pretty. Um, you probably noticed um, with the pour and in fr previous videos that um, sometimes it's not the fragrance oil that makes or your soap kind of accelerate or thicken up really quickly. It can be the colorant that you use. That looks nice. I like that. Um, so in this bar, we'll be able to see that the black was more fluid when we swirled or when I swirled than the green was. And it's just, a lot of times it's the color. So, oh yeah, this is looking really pretty. I just love those colors together. I'm trying to get you in good light here. Um, so yeah. And I wanted to um, apologize for my sound last time. I had thought I had a microphone working and it was not working. It's a whole big long story. I won't get into it. I'm getting there though. I will have a working microphone, just um, not today. Um, anyways, I thought I had that microphone going and I didn't, and it was a little bit hard to hear, um, during, especially during the cutting part. So this video may be the same, hopefully not. I set up my camera a little bit different for the cut so that hopefully the sound would be better. Okay, gosh, I really loved the top of this soap. It looked so... I don't know. It just looks so pretty. I love how the color lays under the white. So, all right, you guys, this is pretty much it. Um, of course, like I always say, I'll wait about an hour, I'll trim it, I'll stamp it. And that's usually when I photograph my soaps and then they go on the curing rack for um, about six to eight weeks. Um, that's how I like to do it. So anyways, you guys, thank you for joining me. Um, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoy the content and I will see you on the next one.